you will need to acquire a fuel pressure tester. This can be rented from your local auto parts store free of charge. Since we are dealing with gasoline, it is a good idea to keep either a fire extinguisher or some water handy just in case something catches on fire. On your engine, locate the fuel rail and find the test port. Locate and remove the cap to reveal the Schrader valve. Before screwing the fuel pressure tester on, press on the Schrader valve to bleed the system of fuel pressure. Now screw your fuel pressure tester tightly onto the test port so no fuel leaks. Place the fuel pressure gauge on the windshield so you can see the measurements from the driver's seat. Cycle the key three times and then take a measurement. The fuel pressure for your vehicle may vary from another vehicle, but it should hold this pressure for at least five minutes. As you can see here, my car has a bad fuel pressure regulator that will need to be replaced. Now start the engine and rev it very sharply. If the fuel pressure drops when you rev it, you either have a clogged fuel filter or your fuel pump is weak and will need to be replaced soon. When you are done measuring fuel pressure, unplug the fuel pump relay and wait for the engine to die. This will bleed the fuel system of pressure and you won't get a face full of gasoline when you unscrew the fuel pressure tester. After replacing the cap on the test port, mission accomplished.